Hi everyone, we are Irander, today we will do a test with Cinema 4D and Redshift. Here, I have a small Cinema 4D project and ready to render. Here is my Irander account, you can see there is CPU and GPU services, allows you to create your own images with different specifications. Here I have two images, this one I already installed the C4D before. You can also create new images, but you have to install everything you need in the first time. And before boot the image, make sure you have uploaded the scene file and all the data you need to your cloud storage like Google Drive or Dropbox, etc. In case you don't have any cloud storage account or don't have enough storage space, you can use our Sync app, it's free and really convenient, you can download from here. Now, I will show you how it works. As you can see, we have the X and Z drives here, you don't need care about the X drive, it's red only. Just go to the Z drive, this is where I store all the data I need. Just drag and drop to upload your data. In case you have small data like this, you can also drag and drop across the remote desktop after booting and connecting to the image, but for larger data, you should use cloud storage or our application. Now, let boot the image. The image boot time is based on your image size, so make sure you delete everything you don't need in the C drive in the image before you shut down. You can see here, there are Z and X drives like in our Sync app, I don't have Redshift installed so now I have to install it. As you see, all my files are in Z drive, but remember Z and X drive are just network drives, so copy all data or installation files to C drive before opening, even output paths should all be in the C drive and you can copy the result files back to Z or upload it later. If you don't do this, your file or your render may get corrupted. This Z drive will sync to all your images, very convenient. For Redshift users, if you want to use our Redshift license, you need to request us before. After the rendering is complete, just copy to Z drive and shut down. You can download and upload anytime from Z drive through the sync app, or you can use your cloud storage. It's up to you. When you are done, you cannot shut down inside here. Just shut down the image from the website. It will automatically shut down after a minute. And now you can download the result file anytime you want. Thank you for watching. 